Hello everybody, I'm going to show you about a very interesting number constant. Very cool for geometry. And no, it isn't the square root of 2. And it's not pi. And definitely it is not tau. But instead, it's a very easy number to memorize because it is six. You might think, what's so special about the number six? Well, for instance, six is the kissing number. That means that if you have one circle, you can fit exactly six circles around the outside that touch the same circle. That's in two dimensions. In three dimensions, I think you can fit about 12. Something else with circles. Suppose you have a circle. Then, from the radius, or from the center, you make radius, or radii, around. They are all evenly spaced, six around, and each blue line that connects is exactly the same length as the radius. That is good. What is not okay is when you have just five or any number besides six, the blue lines are not the same as the radius. This properly only works on six. Suppose you're at wartime. There's a bunch of people standing. So then, if you want to get a chance, you have to throw a grenade. It's a very weak grenade. So you have to throw it to the person very next to you if you want anything to happen at all. The maximum number of grenades that you can get to yourself is six. And if there's two people the same distance away, then you just throw at one random person. This guy has six at his direction. Most of the time, you don't usually have more than one or two. And inside the bubble is the number of grenades that will be thrown in your direction. Something else with geometry. If you have a six-sided figure, you can divide it into six equilateral triangles, each with angles one-sixth of a full rotation. One, one more thing. One plus two plus three equals six. One times two times three equals six. One, two, and three are the factors of six. It's the only number with all three of these properties. If you want numbers with two out of three of these, then that would be the addition and the factors. That would be called a perfect number. Six and six is the smallest perfect number, and that is why 6 is a great number. Not what you should call as a constant, but good. Bye.